When you start to have the feeling that you don't have enough braking power, this could be for different reasons, but when you feel that the brake lever is too soft or spongy, then it's time to do the bleeding. In this video I will show you how to do the bleeding for the Magura MT5 rear brake. First, remove the caliper from the frame with a torque wrench and a Torx 25 key. Then help yourself with a tear lever and push back the pistons in order to remove the braking pads. Now remove the braking pads and clean the caliper, if necessary. Now let's prepare the syringe with the Magura Mineral Oil, called the Royal Blood. Insert the tube into the syringe. Now insert the tube into the oil bottle, then pull the oil slowly. Lean the syringe to let the air come at the top, then push to eliminate the air inside the syringe. When you are sure that all the air is outside the tube, pull again oil inside the syringe. Now the syringe is full of oil with no air inside. You can now thread the caliper adapter, or do it later on the caliper as you prefer. On the caliper, remove the bleeding bolt and thread the syringe in. Tighten the bolt with a branch and then clean the exceeded oil. Now rotate the lever so that it's parallel to the ground. This will allow the air to come out easily in the bleeding. Remove the bleeding screw on the lever and put inside, gently, a second syringe without the piston. Now take the yellow piston blockers and put them inside the caliper. I used a rubber band to block them. Now everything is in place. Go back to the caliper and push gently the oil inside the system. The air bubbles will come out in the syringe located on the lever. If the oil that came out is dirty, remove it from the syringe and put inside fresh new oil. Be sure that you do not push completely the piston of the syringe to avoid to push air inside the system. Now push the lever 2-3 times and then start to pull slowly the oil again in the syringe. Repeat the operation until no more air will come out in the syringe on the lever. Now you can remove the syringe from the lever, using your thumb to close the port to avoid to spread the oil everywhere. Then screw in the bleeding bolt again and rotate the lever on the handlebar as it was before. On the caliper, remove the adapter screw and then tighten the bleeding bolt again. Now remove the bleed blocks and clean everything with a brake cleaner. Install again the braking pads and then the caliper on the frame. Now the service is done. I hope that you will find this video helpful and if you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. In the meantime, happy service and see you in the next one.